There has been much discussion over who would win between 100 men and one gorilla, and it seems that the predominant opinion right now is that 100 men would clearly win. But I think most people would agree that one random man would pretty clearly lose against a gorilla. But this opens us up to a very interesting mathematical question, because if one man is going to lose and 100 men win, this means that there must exist some amount of men between 1 and 100 men, such that it flips from men losing to winning. And my question is, what is the minimum amount of men required in order for the gorilla versus that amount of men to be considered an even fight? And by even fight, we would define that as there is a 50% chance that the men win and a 50% chance that the gorilla wins. With the rules being that the gorilla and the men all understand the task. They understand that this is like a fight to the death and it's not that the gorilla is like just confused in an arena and doesn't know what's going on. There are no weapons and all participants are allowed to strategize before the match begins. There's also two categories, one which I'm going to say random men, which is how many random men would it take for it to be an even fight, of which I hypothesize you would need 15, and then chosen men. And if you were able to build your dream team of people, what would be the minimum amount of people required in order for it to be an even fight? In which I think you could get away with probably three if you were to be very smart and select like NFL defensive tackles or something. 